I'm gonna make this quick video. It's 6.45 a.m. and I was doing my morning routine and this thought just came in and it's such a mind-boggling thought. And it's something that is so powerful that I was like, I can't even wait to share this. I need to do this now. It's gonna be a really quick video. We put meaning on everything. And I know I've mentioned that before, but we put meaning on everything. We put meaning on words. We created the word gravity. There's nothing said that something when it falls it was due to gravity. Rejection, when someone says no to you, we made that word up. We made up, we're ma what, the language I'm speaking in right now is completely made up. If someone in China was listening to me that didn't speak English, they're like, what is this guy saying? So in other words, not only did we make words up, we made up language. So if someone came up to you and they said, You'd be like, all right, that dude's crazy. However, that could be a, that could, that could have been in a language you've never heard of, say a, a tribal language in Africa. And they just told you that you're ugly and you're stupid and you're destined to die immediately. But that didn't correlate with you. So in other words, what I'm saying is that because that language, that they were communicating with you, but because that language didn't have any meaning, on it, it didn't mean anything to you. So when someone says you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid, you're poor, you're dumb, you're going nowhere in life, you understand what they're saying, so you put meaning to it. Here's the kicker, here's the fun thing, is that the only reason it has a meaning that may resonate with you, say I say you're ugly, and you actually feel ugly, then you'll actually believe it. So here's the biggest thing is, what if I said, what if someone told me, Charles, you're bald? I'd be like, uh, no, I, I have hair. See, I believe I have hair. So it didn't mean anything to me. So when someone says it, say I say to someone who truly believes whether they actually are or not, but they believe they are attractive, they're pretty, and I say, you're ugly, they have the same reaction. They're like, what are you talking about? They're like, no, the, all right, all right, nice, nice dude. The reason being is that because, the reason being is because they believe they are pretty. For me, if you told me in high school, Charles, you're stupid, I would have believed you. I did believe you, actually, I, I, I was. I was stupid because I thought I was, because I wasn't getting good grades, because teachers were calling my parents saying, this guy is not getting good grades. So I believed I was stupid. If someone told me that now, I'd be like, I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even register. This is the face I would have. I'd be like, all right. The reason being is that I read all of this and now I believe that I'm smart. So that has no meaning, okay? So when someone tries to demone you, to put you down, to uh, get under your, 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 your feathers and, and keep you down, to say, you don't deserve it, that's a stupid decision, think about it, you're stupid, you're ugly, you don't know what you're doing. You're never going to make that baseball team, you're never gonna, you're never gonna get that job, you're never gonna start the business. The thing is, when people told me that when I was starting my business, if I believed them, I would not have started my business. The biggest thing is, I believed I could. I believed I was going to be successful in the business. That's why I started it, and I didn't listen to them. So, belief is massive, but you also have to know if you're teetering on belief and you're like, well, maybe I am ugly, maybe... Uh, maybe I am bald or whatever, you're the one believing the meaning that they're saying. Like I said, if someone came up and they said, blah, 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 they could have just said your deepest insecurity. Look at all those pimples you got. I had acne when I was younger. And if someone said that, dude, that was the toughest thing to take. That was the toughest thing to take. However, if someone... Blah, 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 blah. But, but in their language said, you are ugly because of your acne. 
but it came out blah, 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 like that, I would have been like, I don't know what this guy's talking about. He's crazy because there's no meaning on it. So two things from this video. Number one is you are the one creating the meaning. You are the one believing the meaning. And number two is don't believe the meaning if you have belief in your, what you want to do. Like I said, if someone comes up and I announce I'm starting my own company, say you, I'm losing 10 pounds. And someone says, oh, you can't do that. You're fat. You're overweight. You're never going to be able to do that. If you believe them, you're not. But you're putting the meaning on them, on the language of what they're saying, and you're actually believing it. So number one is you put meaning on everything. And number two is don't believe the meaning. Believe yourself. Believe what you can do. This is a powerful measure. I hope you shared this video. This is, this was really powerful because I was doing my morning routine and I was like, I am putting meaning on everything. I'm putting meaning on my insecurities. I'm putting meaning on rejection. I'm putting meaning on if I talk to a pretty girl and she says, no, I'm not interested, that it's me. That could have been her. A lack of chemistry, or she's taken, or she had a bad day, or she just had a bad breakup, or someone in her family just died. I'm putting the meaning of rejection on me. So find out where you're putting unnecessary, unnecessary negative meaning and negative language and negative connotations on yourself and just stop it. And number two is believe in what you want to do. Be a sandcastle maker, whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to do. I hope this helps. This was like really powerful. I'm glad I just got this out there because as I'm thinking about it and saying it, it really resonates and it feels like I feel it in my cells. Like, wow, that, that, that's powerful. So any questions, leave in the comments below. Thank you for all the subscribers so far. I'm past 500 and it's funny if I look back at it now, say in 10 years and I see that it's, you know, I have like 10,000 or 15,000. I'm like, wow, I started at 500. So I really appreciate it. If this is your first time, definitely subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. I'm absolutely destroying Snapchat. And of course, iCharles.com, which I come out with a blog post every single day that can go right into your email and it's really short. Uh, today's was amazing. It was personality uh, versus being overly optimistic based on a comment that I received and it was an amazing, amazing YouTube comment. So leave your comments below. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.